Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So CM0 when I of t is, uh, I of t is greater than 0, what happens is CM0 will be, will become negative. Right. Let us say, if you fix the CG and AC, the case where I of t is 0, okay. now say you have I of t positive, that means this is becoming negative. Right, this this initially you have fixed to certain CM naught that CM naught decreases. That's a contribute if you have I of t positive in this case. So compared to that, you need to increase the CG and AC distance. At the same time, will be negative, more negative compared to initial case. This negative when I say is compared to a small compared to the initial case where I of t is zero. Right, and say if I of t is non-zero and it is negative, if I of t is less than 0 in this case, what happens is this contributes, I of t is negative then the tail contribution is positive towards C m naught and yeah, if the C g is behind the A c here as in this case, this particular term is positive, so C m naught will automatically become positive, so positive for C. And in C m alpha, it is not going to affect, right. CM alpha again depends upon tail volume ratio and CL alpha of tail. Is to if CG is at AC of wing, that means XCG is equals to X AC of wing. Right. What happens in that case? this particular contribution is 0, right. What happens to CM0 of the aircraft? So, if CM0 is, this contribution is 0 because CG is equal to AC, the difference is 0 here, there is no moment on. And say if, in this case, if I of t is positive, no, if I of t is 0, let us say, to start with, if I of t is 0, then CM0 of the aircraft will become negative automatically unless you use a reflex error fault here, right. So, for a non-zero I of t, say if I of t is positive, that means C m naught again becomes negative. So, the only condition where C m naught becomes positive is I of t is negative. So, C m naught becomes positive when I of t is negative and C m alpha in this case will be always negative as long as you have a tail right is negative automatically because this difference is zero so this becomes this is a positive quantity which is automatically becomes sim alpha automatically becomes negative okay and let us consider another case where the cg is ahead of the aerodynamic center of the wing so what happens in that case this particular term becomes negative, right. So, C L naught becomes negative, this particular, uh, I mean the entire uh, contribution from C L naught of the wing towards pitching moment will become negative, because this X C G is ahead, right. And C M A C is negative, this is a more, uh, is a uh, higher negative term. And say now you have to have a bigger I of t, right. There is a negative, higher negative tail setting angle. That means, the, the the, the tail should be at a negative angle of attack, continuous negative angle of attack. So, there, there is a disadvantage, right? Your lift is effective, lift is decreasing at the same time, there is a drag because we are using symmetric aerofoil. On either side, in the drag polar, you have a positive drag other than 0 alpha, right? A positive drag in the sense higher drag here, okay. Please make a correction. There, there is a higher drag, so the, you have to continuously overcome that additional drag. So, that is the reason why if you place it, if you place the C g ahead of this, this becomes you need a higher I of t, negative I of t that adds to the drag as well, right. So, this can become positive by 
case 3 if C G is ahead A C of wing, if C G is ahead of the A C of wing, what happens? This particular term becomes negative. So, for C M not to be positive. it should be very very negative right and if this is ahead then cm alpha is negative and this is already negative so this becomes negative but there is again a disadvantage like there is a too much cm alpha right the slope is very very steep even for a you need if you want to trim if you want to change the attitude of the aircraft you need a larger deflection you need a larger for, uh, elevator force so there is a disadvantage that we'll discuss later so cm alpha will be negative the necessary condition is already satisfied here now this is a qualitative discussion now let us look into the quantitative discussion of this cg cg travels limits of the cg travels See that is the same case right if you can see for a symmetric aerofoil we had two flights last time one uh, with two wings right made out of styrofoam one is a cambered wing alone and another uh, one is a symmetric wing alone it is a rectangular platform with 1 meter span approximately and 22 centimeters squared right. Now in that case what happened why initially it did not fly so, when there is no dead weight the CG is behind the AC right the c if the cg is behind the ac for a wing alone configuration this becomes cm alpha becomes positive right if the c if there is no tail that means this contribu uh, contribution from this particular quantity is not here right not present during uh, further particular flight so if the cg is behind the ac this uh, cm alpha is positive that means system becomes unstable that's why it is flipping so for a wing alone so by placing the C, uh, dead weight what i did is i brought cg to the ac almost right in that case i don't have cm alpha so that's the reason why whenever at that particular location so if it encounters any disturbance it will try to achieve a new equilibrium which we don't want in general right we want aircraft to fly at a particular cl the design cl so the cl is controlled by alpha we want to have at a particular alpha we do not want whenever there is a disturbance the aircraft should adjust to the new equilibrium. So, if that is that is the neutral stability right. So, the system becomes neutrally stable when I bring this C G close to this aerodynamic center for this wing alone configuration right. You understand this particular point is like neutral stable neutrally stable position where it achieves new equilibrium whenever there is some disturbance right now say will there will there be any such neutral point or a or a point which is neutrally stable for a wing and tail combination if so what is that right even for wing and tail we should have the same thing right still like there should be some point in the in this case of wing alone we say there is a neutral point where if the cg of the aircraft is equals to the aerodynamic center of the wing Right. then your aircraft is neutrally stable at that point. After that if I if I place the CG too ahead then it is also diving down right. So, it is it, it is stable but it, it is also diving down it is not performing the intended task. So, let us see what is the neutral location or the location at which the system is neutrally stable right for a wing and tail combination. Let us derive that first. So, let us define something called static margin. Static margin is the distance between x bar C G and or x bar N P minus x bar C G, right, where x bar N P is a neutral point location or location of neutral point with respect to 
in this case is a location of neutral point with respect to a reference right in our case we always consider the leading edge of the root chord is a reference so this is your neutral point x and p bar right now let us define what is this neutral point it is the location of center of gravity of an aircraft or a uav about which which pitching moment of the aircraft remains constant with angle of attack. So, it is a location of this system right it is a location of CG of this system that means there neutral point is the location of center of gravity for this particular system about which the pitching moment of this aircraft remains constant with angle of attack ok. So, do not you see it is similar to that of aerodynamic center of a wing the pitching moment remains constant with angle of attack about the aerodynamic center for the wing. For the entire aircraft about neutral point this pitching moment remains constant. So, say if this is my n p neutral point now say this distance is considered as x n p right. So, about neutral point the C m variation with angle of attack the change in C m with change in angle of attack is 0 this this is for the entire aircraft. So, this is the definition of neutral point. So, this is for the entire aircraft is it clear. So, the pitching moment or the change in the pitching moment with respect to the change in the angle of attack why because the change as the angle of attack changes the lift of the wing and lift of tail changes and so the pitching moment of the aircraft. So, the change in the pitching moment of the aircraft with respect to angle of attack is 0 or the pitching moment is independent of angle of attack about this neutral point. That means, there is a constant pitching moment, but which is unaffected with change in angle of attack. The, that is uh, like similar to the concept of aerodynamic center of wing. So, neutral point is a is like an aerodynamic center for the entire aircraft. Right. So, that means, the C m is constant or pitching moment is constant. Let us see what is that constant value and where does this n p located for a wing and tail combination. Center of mass and neutral point you see it is it itself is a C g center of gravity it is a location of center of gravity about which pitching moment is independent of angle of attack. But see how how the why does this point exist in the first place why there should be a neutral point right. Now, we will address that. So, what so let us say this is the C m alpha is 0 that means, let us consider the C m alpha of this wing and tail combination here. What is that C m alpha of the aircraft? So, which means which implies C m alpha of the entire aircraft is 0 about this C g location right. So, that particular C g location is known as neutral point. So, what is the C m alpha of this wing and tail combination? We derived it just now C l alpha of wing into x bar C g minus x bar A c of wing minus eta S t by S into x bar A c of tail minus x bar C g of wing uh, x bar C g into C l alpha of tail into 1 minus dou epsilon by dou alpha right. So, from the definition of neutral point if I if I want to find out what is the neutral point for this combination what I need to do is 
the CG here should be the NP and the corresponding CM alpha should be 0. That is what the definition says it is a location of CG right. Now say if I am at the neutral point CM alpha has to be 0 right. So by the definition of neutral point I, I substitute XCG as XNP X bar NP and the corresponding CM alpha is 0. NP right. So, consider this definition as ST ST 15 right. So, this equation as 16 equation instability ST 16 right. Now solve this ST, ST 16 for neutral point. CL alpha of wing plus eta ST by S into CL alpha of tail into 1 minus 2 epsilon by 2 alpha into X bar NP is equals to C L alpha of wing into X bar A C of wing plus eta X T by S into X bar or say C L alpha of tail to 1 minus 2 epsilon by 2 alpha into X bar A C of tail. So, this implies X bar neutral point is equals to C L alpha of wing into X bar A C of wing plus eta S T by S into C L alpha of tail 1 minus 2 epsilon by 2 alpha into X bar A C of tail divided by C L alpha of wing plus eta S T by S into C L alpha of tail into 1 minus 2 epsilon by 2 alpha. So, this is the corresponding neutral point for wing and tail combination. This is ST 870 stability equation. So, this is a neutral point corresponding neutral point right. So, if if there is no tail let us say if there is no tail what happens X A C of tail is, tail is 0 and there is no lift from the tail. So, if wing alone right which is wing alone right that means tail is not there that is X A C of tail is, is 0 and and C L from tail is 0. So, by substituting that you figure out the neutral point is equals to X A C of the wing as we discussed the neutral point of the aircraft is similar to that of the aerodynamic center of the wing. In case of uh, if there is no tail in case of wing alone configuration neutral point is nothing but the aerodynamic center of the wing right. That is the reason why we are trying to shift the CG of the wing by adding the dead weight to the aerodynamic center. So, that to make it neutrally stable right that was the reason this is fine. But, but what is this neutral point? Let us say if I have a mass or if I have an object, how do we find the CG of this mass? I take a reference, right? Say I take a coordinate system tangential to any one of this 
things, all right? So, if I want to figure out the CG of the system, what I have is this is a y axis and this is x axis. I have mass m1 which is at a distance of x1 and from here it is at a distance of y1. Similarly, if I have mass m2 located at a distance x2 and y2 right. So, on and so forth. How can I find x bar c g is equals to or x c g is equals to m 1 x 1 plus m 2 x 2 plus so on m n x n divided by m 1 sigma m right. Right, sigma m. Similarly, y c g fine. So, what are this m 1 or say if I divide this m 1 by sigma m into x 1 plus m 2 by sigma m into where i starts from sigma m i, i starts from 1 to n m i into x 2 plus 1. So, is it not a weight? Is it not a coefficient that we are weight to this particular x 1? Right? We are assigning some weight to this particular quantity which depends upon this m 1. Greater than m 1, greater is the weight. Weight in the sense here the weightage, weightage of this x 1 increases as the m 1 increases. Right? So, cannot you see a similar arrangement here C L alpha of wing into x bar A C of wing and this is what? What is this? This is Siddharth. See, you can see a similar weightage here, right? This is C L alpha of wing into x A C of wing plus this is nothing but C L alpha of tail, but it is a modified normalized one, right? into x a c of tail divided by c l alpha plus c l alpha of tail that is sigma c l alpha of the total aircraft which is c l alpha of wing plus c l alpha of tail, but c l alpha of tail is a modified c l alpha that is a normalized c l alpha. So, it is similar to that of c it is a weighted average of c l alpha. So, neutral point is a weighted average of c l alpha and c m alpha sorry C L alpha of wing and C L alpha of tail. Now, let us say if the tail and wing are separated by infinite distance, infinite distance that means epsilon is 0, what this becomes eta becomes 1 because the flow at tail and wing will be same because they are separated by infinite distance right epsilon is 0. So, this becomes like S T by S into C L alpha of tail. If wing and tail are same let us say if I am using same wings that means, this particular ratio becomes 1 all I have is C L alpha of tail say that, that depends upon the airfoil of C L alpha uh, of the tail. If I take the same area as wing this becomes C L alpha of tail into x i c of tail like m 2 into x 2 and this one is m 1 into x 1 kind of C L alpha wing into x a c of wing. So, divided by C L alpha wing plus C L alpha of tail if you are considering equal area of tails tail and wing. it is a weighted average of C L alpha. The moment you decide the distance between wing and tail and the corresponding airfoil of the wing in the planform geometry, you have fixed your neutral point. Now, you have to make sure that your C G is ahead of this neutral point. Why ahead of this neutral point? We will discuss. Do you appreciate this fact? See here this is like an weighted average of C L alpha of wing and tail the lift curve lift lifting characteristics of wing and tail it is a weighted average of it. So, what is static margin? It is a x bar n p minus x bar c g what is x bar n p? Okay. C L alpha of wing into x bar a c of wing plus C L alpha of t or eta S T by S C L alpha of tail 
1 minus dou epsilon by dou alpha into x a c of t in divided by c l alpha of v plus eta s t by s c l alpha of t into 1 minus dou epsilon by dou alpha minus x bar c g. This is from neutral point st 17 since st 17 substituting x and p with x st 17 equation number 17 for stability part right. Is it correct? Now, the static margin is equals to C L alpha of wing into x bar a c of wing minus x bar c g plus eta s t by s into C L alpha of tail into 1 minus 2 epsilon by dou alpha x c a c of tail minus x c g divided by C L alpha of wing plus eta s t by s into C L alpha of t multiplied by 1 minus 2 epsilon by 2 alpha. Right. This implies static margin is equal to okay. Can I take minus common minus out from this equation? This is x bar c g minus x bar a c of wing right plus eta s t by s c l alpha of tail 1 minus 2 epsilon by dou alpha x bar a c of tail minus x bar c g divided by c l alpha of wing plus eta s t by s into c l alpha of tail 1 minus dou epsilon by dou alpha. Am I correct? So, if we can refer back this particular quantity or the numerator is C m alpha, C m alpha of the entire aircraft. So, this static margin is equals to minus C m alpha divided by this is the total lift. C L alpha lift curve slope of the aircraft, right? C M alpha by C L alpha for this entire aircraft. This is for the entire aircraft. This is for the entire. This equals to minus D C M by D alpha by D C L by D alpha. This implies static margin, which is x bar N P minus x bar C G, is equals to minus d c m by d c m okay. which is minus c m alpha by c l alpha of the entire now for c m alpha to be negative for example we need c m alpha negative right let us say this is your stability 19 am i correct 18 stability 18 okay. so using this the static margin is equals to minus cm alpha by cl alpha this implies cm alpha of the aircraft should be minus the static margin multiplied by cl alpha of the entire aircraft right so for cm for statically stable aircraft, we need C m alpha to be negative, right. So, if this quantity has to be negative, that means static margin should be positive and C l alpha of the aircraft of course, is positive, right. What is static margin? x bar n p minus x bar c g multiplied by C l alpha of the entire aircraft. So, this is a positive term. So, for this C m alpha to be negative, the x n p minus x c g should be positive. That means, x n p should be larger than x c g, which means the neutral point should be behind the 
center of gravity or say the C g should be always ahead of the neutral point. So, that is the reason why. So, for a positive static margin you have C g is ahead of neutral point. Cg should be ahead of NP. Even for wing alone, the NP is nothing but aerodynamic center of wing. That is why we, we, we need Cg ahead of the aerodynamic center of wing. The questions, question final exam paper is limited uh, to the topics that we have discussed till, till date. So, that second part of this course will be offered in the next semester that talks about trim and then modeling to simulation of fixed wing UAVs. Due to the time constraint, we are not able to complete the internet task. So, let us span it next series of lectures. So, I will be offering them in the next semester, coming semester, the talks about trim and say uh, modeling and uh, simulation yeah, and analysis as well. At the same time, we will also solve few example problems there that, uh, that covers the entire design process of a UAV. So, meet you soon.